Hello, welcome to Coro's House again. Today we have um, a little look of this X-Lite 100 Smart Bicycle Taillight with saddle fit. Um, it is brake sensing, light sensing, vibration sensing. It's waterproof, it's got an IP6 rating. Uh, it's lightweight, 20 plus hours, runtime, USB charging, and visible from 200 meters. Um, and Fitnicks. This is actually a product from um, AliExpress. I was looking for a bike light that I could put on my aero frame because my, uh, well, my seat post is quite wide um, and my old light wouldn't go around it. So I saw this saddle fit, which actually fits to the rails underneath the saddle. So uh, I thought I would order this and it cost me, um, let's have a look, it cost me £16.67. Um, so let's open it up and have a look. It looks quite small, I don't know what this is going to be like, but let's crank it open. Okay, nothing left in the box, so we'll chop that away. Okay, we've got uh, the light itself. Cool, we've got a seat rail um, holder. And we've got a box on the other side. So let's crank that plastic out of the way. What's in this box? I reckon it's going to be Cable, yeah. Let's empty it out. Right, nothing else in that box. That can go away. So we've got one, two, four cable ties. They can move to the side. We've got an instruction manual in English and I'm assuming Chinese. I don't know. And um, so the X Light 100 Smart Tail Light. Dong Wang and Fitnix Technology Limited. Sorry if I haven't said that correctly. And um, this isn't a sponsored video. It's just something I bought because um, I wanted to buy a new light. So we've got dimensions, length 45 mil, width 57 mil, depth 34 mil. And we've got flash, breathe, and always on. 200 meters. Uh, viewable distance, a 400 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium ion battery. Weight including mountain bracket 40 grams, which we will check, and it's IP6 uh, rated. So, okay, we've got operations here. So we've got movement, yeah. So when you slow down or you break suddenly, the light gets brighter apparently. This is something I um, was quite interested in. Um, we'll try it just by, just by, uh, so the rest is Chinese. So we'll come back to that if we need to. So we've got a charging cable, a USB. Yep, how long is that? Just so we can check. It is. Uh, get my tape measure out. Good, it hasn't got the company's logo on it. Get down for that. So yeah, the charging uh, is 30 centimeters, just about 30 centimeters from end to end. Okay, the mounting bracket is very light. So I'm assuming you put that on your rails and then tie the cable ties through that gap. Yeah. Okay, magic. So let's just weigh quickly the mounting rail. Is seven grams. And now the light itself. So let's just get that out of the way. So here it is, it's round. It's got a push button in the middle. Um, so we've got manual an auto on the back and we've got the charging port. Now, I'm going to say 
Yeah, it's got a rubber gasket, so that just screws in to the back, like this. And the whole unit itself weighs 38 grams, which isn't bad. Um, so, cool, that rubber O-ring, it actually seals that really well. So, um, let's turn it on. Right, it's in manual. Uh, let's press the button. Okay, so we've got flashing. We've got breathe. I don't like that being in the way. And we've got always on. I'm going to try and simulate braking. There you go, so it got brighter, and now it's off again. Brighter, off again. Brighter, that's very bright, and off again. So um, I think we've got hold to switch off, we do. So if we put it onto auto, if we start moving, I can't, it's very difficult to simulate uh, moving. I don't know what auto does. Perhaps I have to switch it on first. I think I'd probably go for always on. So if we leave it there, that should switch itself off while I look on the computer for some more information for you. So it's on auto. Apparently it's got a 30 second switch off. I'm not really sure. There it is. It's switched off. And when we bang it to simulate movement, it starts again. Okay, so a bit about this. Um, let's have a look. It's got self-adaptive. It's got self-adaptive technology, apparently. So it knows when it's braking, and not just you're going downhill. Um, it automatically stops during the daytime and starts at night because it's got a light sensor um, in. You can probably just about see it. Um, I think one of these circles or one of these bits, yeah, is the light sensor. I can just turn that off. There might be a light sensor in there. Oops. He says as it comes back on because I'm moving it around. Um, it's got a full CNC aluminium alloy chassis and it takes 42 processes to make the alloy shell. Apparently, it's waterproof to IP6. And if I bring in my computer, I can show you what it looks like on a bike. Well, on the bike that they've. Uh, sorry about the plug for Mac, but uh, okay, so um, there we go. So it sits on your rails like so. And that is why I liked it. Um, yep, so it sits under there, you see? So you put on the little holder and then screw in the light. Easy installation, yeah? And that's, uh, yeah, put the cable ties through, cut them off, switch it on. If in auto mode, the light will be activated if vibration is detected. Okay, so all the stuff you need to know is there. Which is really simple. And that about concludes my little look at this light. Now, uh, I'll put it back onto manual, switch it off. So... Let's have a little close up of it. This is the, uh, the O ring you can see. On off switch, charging port. It's very small. I'm looking forward to using this. Um, so that is my unboxing and first little look at this light. So that's it for Kyra's house for this episode.
like, subscribe uh, for more stuff. And uh, we'll see you soon on Kairos House. Take care. Bye.